Hi everyone, I'm Jamie from jamiedelainewatson.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we're going to be chatting about writing emails in your photography business. A few ways that you can stand out to potential clients and book more weddings and portraits or whatever kind of photography you want to book. So stay tuned and we're going to talk about some of that stuff today. So this is a topic I'm super passionate about because I think if you master writing emails to your potential clients, it can be an amazing way to turn leads into bookings. And I think a lot of photographers are doing it wrong, which gives photographers who are doing it right a huge advantage. So if you feel like you're maybe in the first camp, we're going to turn you into a photographer who's doing it right today. So the first thing to keep in mind is that clients are usually emailing more than one photographer. Why do I say this? It's not to intimidate you or make you feel like you're competing against other people, but it's to remind you that you have to stand out. And we also don't know, just because a client sent you an email, we have no guarantee of how long they were on your website. They could have been on your website 30 seconds, thought, I like her photos, and sent a contact form just to see if you were available. So what I want that first email to do is reassure her she's in the right place, tell her that you're so excited about the inquiry, link to other blog posts or other portfolios like galleries that you have that kind of vibe with her wedding. So if her wedding's at a winery, share some photos from other winery weddings with her. This will not only show her that you've gone above and beyond in your email response and you've sent a crafted personalized email, it'll also give her another opportunity to see your work. If she was one of those brides that perhaps was only on your website for a short amount of time. Now, of course, the other client we may get, which is a client we all love to have, is they've been familiar with our work for years, they know every single part of what we do, they've seen all the images on our website, and that's great as well. But there's also no harm in still linking to similar galleries because that will show that kind of bride that you've gone the extra mile. So one of the biggest questions I get when it comes to writing emails or even social media for that matter in your photography business is how do I balance professional and personal? And I find it an interesting question because when you are hiring a photographer or think if you're hiring maybe even like a business coach or somebody who you're going to be working one-on-one -on -one with, sure you want them to be good at their job, but I'm not really looking for someone who has a professional front in terms of professional being synonymous with like cold and lacking personality. I want them to be professional in how are they prepared for the job, do they answer promptly and are they helpful in their answers, do they show up on time, do they have a great resume, great portfolio, um, regardless of what industry we're talking about. But I want them to be personal the whole way through. So to me, if you're writing an email that's just purely professional, I think we're missing out on something. And, and there's a way that we need to meld these two together. So if you're confused by this, what I mean is maybe the difference between somebody emailing about their wedding and you responding back and saying, yes, I'm available. Um, these are my rates. You can click my pricing PDF and it's attached. Have a good day. Uh, you've given her the information she asked for, but you've also given her no way to connect with you whatsoever. There's no personality there. And I think maybe sometimes photographers are so afraid of the imposter syndrome, you know, feeling like we're not quite there yet. Maybe you've only been in business two years, three years, and you're thinking, ah, I'm really not that good at this. And you have this struggle, this struggle of confidence. And by writing these cold professional emails, maybe that gives you a bit more confidence, like I don't want to come across as um, too informal. And I don't think there's a way you can. When I write emails, I include lots of exclamation marks, lots of adjectives. Occasionally, I even put a smiley face in there. I mean, I think with where professional communication is moving, um, that's normal. That's personal. That's person to person. And I think it's important to have that. So if you want to see more about what I'm chatting about, I've decided to include two examples of a professional email versus a personal email and kind of what that looks like. And maybe seeing those visuals will help you get this a little bit more. So you can download that at jamiedelainewatson.com slash professional and the link will be in the description below as well. I have one final piece of advice when it comes to writing emails in your photography business. You want to make sure that as you're drafting up emails, it sounds like how you would talk. So if you're not sure, the best thing to do is to ask a close friend or a family member, read the email out loud to them and ask them, does this sound like me? 
<laughs> and if they go, ah, no, that's not how you would be talking, you know you have a little bit of work to do. And this actually works, the first run through can just be reading it out loud to yourself because sometimes when we do that, we realize, okay, there's some word choices. I've never said that word in real life. Why am I typing it? And then the second pass can be going to that friend or family member and they'll definitely help you out that way. And what's so great about this is we have this congruity I hope that's how you say that word, <laughs> that when you email clients and then when you actually meet them in person at their session, they feel like they're talking to the same person, <laughs> which they should be and they are. And so it's really important to have this personal versus professional thing nailed down in your email. And I really hope that this video helped you. I would love to hear from you below. Leave a comment if you have any clarifying questions. Have a great week.